Hey kids, welcome to The Fort, where each week we get to read stories together. Last week we read a fun adventure story about a son and his dad going on an adventure together. And today we get to read a fun story about a girl and her mom going on an adventure together. Except this story is kind of special because the girl helped her mom write the story. So on the back of the book, they actually have a picture of the girl that is in this story. So she helped her mom. Her name is Parker Curry, and her mom's name is Jessica Curry, and they're the ones that wrote the story. This story is called Parker Looks Up, and it's a story about Parker going to a museum. Have you ever been to a museum before and seen some fancy paintings? Well, that's what's going to happen for Parker today, and she gets to see a whole bunch of really, really cool ones. So let's read it together. Parker Looks Up by Parker Curry and Jessica Curry, illustrated by Brittany Jackson. Okay. Parker Curry loved to dance. Dressed in her favorite tutu, she imagined she was a dancing queen. But one rainy Tuesday, Instead of going to dance class, Parker's mom said, let's go to the museum. Ava too? Parker loved visiting the museum. Almost much as she loved twirling and leaping in the air, she pulled on her boots. Mom and her sister Ava buttoned up their jackets. Have fun girls, bye dad. And off they went. Splashing and smiling and, oh look where they're going. That's a very cool museum in Washington, D.C. Surprise! Gia, Parker's best friend, greeted them from the top of the museum steps. Yay, it's Gia! Once inside, the friends hurried down a long hall, looked at the paintings all around them. They saw prancing horses, blooming flowers. I like how the artist has some of the painting feel like it's coming alive and coming outside of the picture frame. That's really cool. A bushy mustache. <laughs> A shiny jeweled necklace. Two peacocks with red eyes. And a basket of slimy fish. Ew! And feathers. Lots and lots of brilliant feathers. Hurry up, Ava! When Gia spotted a playroom, she raced ahead. Parker charged after her. Let's make silly faces! After Gia stuck purple hair onto the easel and Parker added a pirate hat and sunglasses, it was time to go home. Time to go, girls! Skipping down the hall, the girls spied a row of frilly white tutus. Parker raised her arms Gia spun around and around and around. Wait for me, Parker called, dancing after her friend until... She froze in her tracks, spellbound. Parker Curry looked up. A portrait of First Lady Michelle Obama loomed before her. She had rich brown skin, just like Parker, and kind, familiar eyes. 
that reminded Parker of her mother, her grandmother, her sister, and yes, even herself. How could someone look so real and so magical all at the same time? Who is she? Parker wanted to know. Parker's mother's voice filled the air, her words coming to rest squarely on Parker's tiny shoulders. These extra words that describe the painting, mother, lawyer, writer, courageous, smart, caring, hero, inspirational, confident, dynamic, advocate, honest, volunteer, mentor, hopeful. She's a queen, Parker whispered unable to look away, to move, to breathe. In that moment, Parker saw more than just a portrait. She saw a road full of, filled with endless possibilities. Oh, who would you be? It could be an astronaut or a dancer, a musician, a chef, an athlete that plays basketball or runs races. I think I might want to be an astronaut. I wore my astronaut shirt today so I could be an astronaut. I'd be this one up here. That'd be me. Whoa, I'm flying away in space. Suddenly, Parker felt a small hand in hers, and the spell was broken. Come look, Ava, she said, putting her arm around her little sister and standing still. For Parker Curry was feeling powerful and strong, even though she hadn't moved at all. Inside, she was dancing. The end of Parker Curry Looks Up by Parker Curry and Jessica Curry, illustrated by Brittany Jackson. Have you ever either seen a TV show or been to a museum? And something about that uh, TV show or, or picture that you saw inspired you? Made you say, ooh, I want to do that when I grow up. Or, wow, mom or dad, what is this? This is so cool. I have several of those memories from when I was a little kid. And it had a big influence on what I decided to do once I became a dad. You guys will probably have some of those same experiences. I think Parker definitely did. Do you want to see the picture one more time of what she looks like in real life? The book says that she was four years old when the book was written, but my guess is she's probably seven or eight, maybe even ten years old now. I wonder what she's going to do when she grows up. Do you think she'll be a dancer or one of those other things on the page or some other job that wasn't even uh, painted there? I wonder what you guys will do when you grow up. What do you guys think? Any good ideas? Well, thanks for having an adventure with us today in the forts. Come back again next time and we'll read some more stories together. Bye.